Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Balin, and this is DevCraft. I've actually been away for a little bit, and it shows there's a lot of things that people have been doing on the server. <laughs> for instance, I've got a new neighbor. <laughs> I think it's Zero from Zero's minimap, if I'm not mistaken. I've, I mean, that's what it says on the, the name there. Zero. And also, uh, I, I had a little delivery box show up here, some elder saplings. I am guessing this is from Volt the Horse Dog. Who's the uh, the dev who made uh, made Druidcraft? Um, and in fact, I might as well just kind of bring this along with because uh, he also added in like these new crates, which are pretty darn cool. They're somewhat modular. Uh, I have not messed around with them as of yet. And if you notice, I've got a few small changes around the base, like these ladders. Uh, I updated them with uh, iron, and it's part of the speedy ladders setup. It's a little bit uh, jittery. Uh, strangely, jitter, 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 oh god, Ooh. okay, we're not doing that. Anyway, um, I also added in a few more chests and a little bit more sorting, you know, nothing really fabulous, just, just boring stuff. Uh, I miss Arcane Archives, but yes, refined storage is in here, so there's no worries about that. Uh, but, I, I have this setup currently going here, it's a little bit of automation, but it doesn't really keep up quite as well as it, as I would hope. Uh, so I put the ores to be... Uh, ground up and smelted in here. Then they go through the hopper into the grinder, which has a bismuth uh, topper on it right now. That's why it's all like rainbow color. It's pretty cool. But it runs really slow. As you might already know, it, it runs at like plus 220% or something. But then it also gives about the same amount for the output at like 270 output or something. I don't know. It, it's pretty darn good. And then it goes through the blast furnace, which processes things really fast. Uh, just not necessarily like two to three ores fast, which is what this is kind of outputting when this is done. It, it's pretty close, though, and it chunks through the uh, the coal really, really well. Uh, in fact, this chunks through the coal much faster than this does, but it's because I think this is also processing more ores at a time than this is grinding stuff. Then everything goes in here. <laughs> Look at all the stuff. This is this is a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's pretty darn crazy. Uh, and so I've got a few materials to start with. I don't have a lot of wood, but I do have others. And these are my tools for Tetra, because you never know when you might need to, like, put something in here, which, by the way, I did add a, a an emerald in here to, you know, kind of sock it in there, which then adds to the possibility that I need to repair it with an emerald, so that's kind of a, a drawback. But these are the tools that I might need to have in my inventory while I'm modifying my other tools and weapons. So, Yeah. Uh, I will go over the speedy ladders in a moment. In the meantime, let's let's take this elder sapling, uh, and we're going to plant these over here because these are really cool. Uh, they, I think, I don't know that that's going to be enough space. This is going to need more space. Uh, let's go over here. We're going to chop down this little tree here from Druidcraft because uh, I've already got a bigger one over there anyway. Um, I'm going to use my battle axe for it because why not? There we go. And then I could probably put up here... The Elder Sapling, at least I think. Let me take... Oh, that looks really great. Let me take some of these. Oh, uh, which... Yeah, that what you just witnessed there. That was not a glitch. That that instant mining of something is a possibility for this uh, emerald being put on there. So that's kind of weird, but it's also kind of cool at the same time. So we're going to put down one of these Elder Saplings. I don't know if it needs, like, four to grow. I think it just needs the one. And in fact, I might end up, like removing this and putting down some more dirt uh, in a minute but in the meantime I, I mean I've got like this like it's like milk chocolate it's just really weird this clay dirt from a bunch of biomes <laughs> but we'll we'll grow that there and it'll have like uh, berries on it it'll grow over time it's pretty darn cool now other things that I have going on I've got rotten flesh I was killing zombies if you look here we've got silence mechanisms has drying racks which you can use to display things as you can see here similar to like Tinker's construct uh, display racks and they also will you know convert these things into this zombie leather which then four of which will turn into regular leather which I'm gonna have to wait for these two to kind of finish out but in the meantime let's go up here put down some temporary uh, a temporary box these are all slabs so that's why it's hovering but if I make another crate, let me actually make another one because I want to see if uh, how how they uh, connect properly. Crate, and we want one of these ones. It's just slabs and wood. All right, so, oops, down here? No, where's my wood? Woods. There we go. I don't have enough of any of those. 
I could probably do dark wood, dark oak rather. Let's just grab this, make one of these. There we go. Now I have two crates, and I think actually it'd be better down here. Let, let's put this over here. Do they connect? I thought that they did. Or do I need to do something special with it? I'll have to ask Vulp because I, I was pretty sure that that they would connect in some way, shape, or form. Maybe it's next to each other. I'm doing it wrong. I wasn't planning on covering this mod today, but you know, therefore, yeah, look at that. It, it looks different. <laughs> I don't even know, but they are pretty cool. I don't know if they retain their their uh, inventory. Let's put this pork jerky in here from also from Silence Mechanisms, which, by the way, look at us. It. It's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's not as good as a golden carrot, but yeah, I've been eating a lot of stuff. So if I break this, okay, stuff falls out. So it's just like a chest, but it doesn't make that really annoying noise uh, that you might get. <laughs> uh, I've been eating a lot of different kinds of foods, uh, just in case you were wondering. Grab three pieces of dirt for outside. And we can put some saplings in here as well. And I think these are done by now. Yes, they are. Whoops. I meant to do that. So if I take these, make the last one. There, I've got five pieces of leather. What are we using the leather for? We're going to be using it to make ourselves a backpack. Or at least I'm going to make myself a backpack. I don't know what you guys are going to do. Uh, so let's look up pack. Hopefully you're going to continue watching the video. Because that, that's what it's all about. Uh, some kind of chest, a couple sticks, and a piece of string. Which string isn't as bad as I thought now. Because of uh, hemp. You can use it to make string. And rope, even better, which then you can use rope to make leads <laughs> or just be really decorative. It's really cool stuff. I'm sure I will be using it in the future, but for now I'm just keeping it here for uh, string use, which I'll probably grab a couple of those because uh, I don't know which chest my string is in. Probably in my mob drops, but I now have that. A couple sticks and a chest. All right, we can do that. Woods, I was just in there now. Two sticks and some and a chest which I think I need, what, two of those for that? There we go. And this should work. At least I hope it does. Make one of these chest. The leather around the bottom. I, it's not going to be enough to upgrade it to like an iron backpack as of yet because that requires leather, but I might be able to do like silver and iron to make it, to make it like that. That would work. Because I don't have that extra piece of leather. And I do have extra silver. And I just went into that inventory uh, improperly. That was great. Can I... I need to actually exit out. Oh no, everything just kind of like was still in that inventory even though I couldn't see it. That was really weird. Anyway, let's grab these. Stick, stick, string, backpack, get. And then straight away I'm going to try upgrading that. Uh, it was silver and iron. Well, I definitely have enough iron. Uh, in fact, I've got some in my inventory just for repair purposes. Silver. Silver. I've got some. I think I've got enough here. Let's put one back. I think it was seven pieces should do it. So if we take this backpack and we surround it with silver ingots, we then take an iron ingot. Nope. that That's not working. Oh, because this was already an iron backpack. That's a really weird recipe. Alright, well still... I need to get another uh, another one of those. It's no big deal. Put away the silver. It's done. <laughs> put away the, the wood stuff as well. There. And the oak sign. And I'll put the crates in here for now. And I'll have to talk to uh, Vulp about that. Because I know that it's user error in this at this point. It's gotta be. But anyway. Um, I'm also hanging on to this rotten flesh so I can eat it. Same thing with the poisonous potato. I intend on eating that at some point too. Because if you notice I also have some hearts down here. Which are kind of like increasing my health. Oh it's night time. That's all right. I need I need bones because my tools all have bone handles. I have ten here, so I was killing some stuff down below. But eh. anyway, let's take a look at this backpack. Three rows, <laughs> double inventory. That's great. That is perfect. In fact, I'm going to put all those in there, as well as my food that I don't need at the moment. Look at that, and my torches, which I don't need at the moment either. Fabulous. Already, uh, it's <laughs> made my life a lot easier, or at least. My inventory a lot cleaner. Bleh. Don't need that extra piece of uh, dirt after all. So on today's episode, we're going to be going over all sorts of stuff. Just barely getting into Create. I know I said that I would be focusing on it, but there's so many things that you need to do in order to get through it, right? 
So, uh, let's keep this here for now, keep that there. And I threw away that wooden axe because every time I touch things with it, it still ends up giving me this weird uh, world edit options. We're not going to be doing that. So, speedy ladders. This here, I showed you the iron one. I wanted to show you this. Here is, you know, we're going down, we're going down. Let's go back up, right? I'm going up pretty good, much faster than we hit the wood. Oh, it is so slow. I left a little bit of wood there just so you guys could see. Those were gold ladders. They're pretty darn good. You go down just as fast, but you climb back up much, much quicker because we've got the uh, the options in here where you can do that. Yes, there are jetpacks in here. I intend on getting one at some point, but not, not today. In preparation for uh, getting into Create, things that I plan on doing. Here, I'm actually going to go around back and show you so you can best imagine you know, use your imagination. Um, this area back here, I want to be some kind of platform where there is an elevator that goes down, down, down into the underground, really far down below. Now, I realize I already have a ladder there, but I think an elevator would be just amazing, especially since Create adds that. And it's a little bit more of a complex item to create. <laughs> Pun. And I think that we could potentially work towards that as a really cool starting thing. Am I going to have the all-powerful windmill? No, you can see one right there. I'm going to be uh, spamming a bunch of water wheels. We'll see how that works because I want to I want to mess around with that. Just doing a little bit of like spam for getting uh, enough power to kind of drive this thing up and down at a pretty decent pace. And maybe I can have enough of it like create a, a central uh, shaft that everything kind of branches off of and then just add on to that so that everything is connected. I think I think that would be pretty darn cool at least because uh, otherwise you, you have like individual stuff for every single thing there. I'm, I'm like right clicking, nothing's happening. There we go. Right click to harvest folks, it's really good. It's really good. <laughs> it keeps you from destroying everything, accidentally breaking stuff. But oh, forgot these as well. we'll put those in the chest. I'm gonna try that quick stack thing. What is it? Quick stack to nearby chest. Dumped in your budget. No, quick stack. There we go. And in fact, let's put these up here and then do that again. Beautiful. And they all went in these two chests. These two chests? Oh, that's right, because I had the uh, the hemp. And the rest was all food in here. Oh, they all stacked this time. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, magics. I've got a rune in here, and somebody decorated my entire place with a bunch of tiny potatoes. Very cute. Haha. <laughs> We've also got deliveries popping up out front. It, it's a popular place. So let's get into uh, hook shots because I'm going to need to get up and down to places. I'm going to need to kind of hang on to weird areas. And I think that if we look at one of these things, it'll help. Now, the, the Pudge hook launcher is one way to pull an entity towards you really quickly from a long distance. The spear hook launcher you can shoot latch onto something and then kind of pull yourself towards it uh, if it's an entity you'll pull yourself and the entity at the same time but it'll also take damage in the process uh, then you've got a webhook launcher which you can use to latch onto an entity and pull it without damaging it but it's also got like an elastic -y string you're kind of like shooting a, a, a spider-man shot it is more or less the idea with it but it they're still a little bit tricky to work with. You can't like swing, latch on, swing, latch on very easily. You'd probably have to really <laughs> spend a lot of time with this. My shield is almost busted. All right, so first we're going to need to make uh, one of these spear hooks, which is going to be tripwire, stick, and some iron. That's not bad. It's just wood, sticks, and iron so far. Uh, grab some of these. And then we need some woods. Going to grab some sticks. A uh, little bit of some of the wood here turn that into planks. There we go. That should be enough to start with one of these trip wires and then a spear hook. And then we need to make the launcher itself, launcher prototype, which requires redstone repeaters, smooth stone, redstone sticks. Okay. That's not bad. I, I think I've got all this stuff already. Not in the magics and the gems. There we go. Uh, redstone. Actually, I should keep this stuff off my hot bar so I can just deposit it all. That would be great. This is a, a tool. That's a tool. Those aren't going to go into anything nearby. And then, wait, what was the other thing I needed? Iron stone buttons. I don't think I have any of those. Let's grab a couple of these for stone. And then a half a stack of the regular stone. 
turn these into the buttons. Okay, next we need the redstone repeaters. Should be pretty easy to make. Let's make these with the quark recipe. Thank you very much. Make a second one. And then I want to make one of these. Ta-da! I now have this. And I think if I hook these up together in the same crafting grid... No, I need more. White dye, black dye, gray dye, some kind of string or thread. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's actually get a bunch of dyes. What do we have? Drops. I have no ink. I thought that I would have ink. That's kind of sad. I can make a uh, bone meal at least because I think I've got some bones here, which would allow me... That gives me three. What happens if I put this in here? That's going to be slow to grind, but it might give me a whole bunch of bone meal. Um, so what I need to do is go kill some, some squids and get some string. All right. I know that there's a river nearby. In fact, I'm going to take two more string from the hemp. Perfect. And it, uh, while I'm here, we're going to do this. There we go. Oh, and the sticks didn't go anywhere because I grabbed them all. There we go. Oh, that quick stack. It's good. Reminds me of, of uh, uh, Terraria there. It's pretty, ni pretty nice. But we're going to go squid hunting. It is night, and I don't mind that. You can see here there's all sorts of kitty, vulp, zero. <laughs> We're going to go in the direction of vulp because there is a river over here. It's mostly frozen over. It is autumn right now, which uh, Serene Seasons is in this area. I don't actually see any squids. Maybe they only spawn in like ocean biomes. Oh, which actually I'm going to need to head over to an ocean biome for some create uh, items at the same time. Oh, I see a freaking creeper over there. Oh my gosh. I don't I don't want that. No, that's bad. That would end up like... Oh, there's a skeleton. Give me your bones. And I don't need that guy. Let's do this. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, really? You had to blow up the blocks. I, I should have run away faster. Oh, I really need to put up some more lights out here. This is just a big mess. I'll be back once I have this all cleaned up. All right, I think it's actually a good time. I just ate some zombie meat. I'm going to eat my poison potato. Yay, what a unique flavor. I've gained a heart, even though I'm now poisoned for... Oh, I just went away that quick. Wow. All right, well, I've got uh, a cooked aubergine and a golden carrot. I'm going to do the aubergine first, I think, because then that carrot will keep me sated for some time. And then I'll be good for uh, some food selection for some for some time at least. At least I believe so. Food? What do I have? Hmm. Not a lot of stuff. I've eaten everything here. I've cooked everything here. Uh, I think what I could probably do is use this in like some kind of stew. Look at this. Aubergine salad? Kelp. That's actually what we need to go get uh, and cook it up so that we can make some belts for create. Uh, I'm definitely going to need that. Cyclopedia Mysticum. Nice. Um, I think uh, I don't really need the vegetable juice. Gives a burst of revitalizing energy. Huh. Don't have beetroots anyway, so I can't really do that. That's really interesting, though. It gives a heck of a lot of saturation. Maybe I'll just cook some, some aubergines for now. Put these in the oven, and uh, we'll, we'll do with that. Grab one more. So I can get a full smelt off of that. Let's check out the, um, the bones. The bones. Twelve off of one bone. <laughs> okay. I think I'm, I'm set for that to be a die. Which is what I think I need for this. Two white dies. So we'll do two of those. And then the rest we can put in here for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look around for dyes. Whether it be floral dye powder, black dye, ink, whatever. Uh, as at least a couple of them, so I can get some gray and some black. And then we can put this thing together and mess around with it. Uh, I might even be able to do it while I'm out. We'll see. Anyway, I'll be back in a moment. All right, looks like we've got a few other neighbors that we've got going on here. I am I was originally headed out over here, but it doesn't look like there's any kind of ocean. Uh, and it, it, there's lots of other neighbors I could go visit, but I think instead what I'm going to do is head up here because I'm pretty sure there's an ocean up in that direction. 
uh, which kind of heads me in the opposite way. So I'm going to head out there and maybe find myself some squidoos, or maybe I'll see some black flowers at least from from the shoreline that I could potentially nab. Yeah, I'm seeing lots of flowers, but none of them are, are the right kind. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Hey, look. There's one of those uh, druid craft trees right here. That's beautiful. Uh, bleh, darn boat. See, we've got the uh, the blossoms here. We've got the elder fruit stuff. There we go. You just right click and get some elder fruit, which actually this is perfect. You can eat that. We can make apple elderberry crumble. Ooh, I might grab a few of these. So I can make one of those and eat it in order to get my hearts up. <laughs> All right, back on the quest. We're, we're, we're on the job. <gasps> okay, better yet, I found what I'm looking for. We've got squid squid sign down below. See if I can actually get these. There we go, perfect. And that gave me a tentacle and two ink sacks. All right, get a little bit of air before I go back down and get the other one. Cool. Uh, I did not find any of the uh, the other stuff I was looking for, though, which is the the kelp. Uh, so I'm just going to kill off this last squid and continue heading north. Okay, so I think I found kelp. <laughs> At least that's what it looks like from here. I also got a squid beak from Reliquary, which is great. And I found some sweet berries, which also something I'm going to need to eat. And tentacles, of course. You can also cook those, which I'm going to eat one for now. Nom. And then I'm going to probably eat the other stuff later. <laughs> Let's put this down, grab some of this, and then we'll be good. So if you're not sure why I'm going over here to get some some kelp. Oh, that was a, that was a puffer fish. <laughs> you will soon find out. And that is because... What are those? Sea stones from the sea mod? Come back. Come back, sea stones. What are you used for? Pebble. Part of seafaring? Okay. Very curious. So I'm not going to break the entire plan. I'm just going to break some of it so that I can uh, continue. Come on. Getting a bunch of these. Because I don't need a lot to start with. I think y you just need six. Oh boy, this is going to take a minute for all these to come to the top. Uh, basically, here, I'll show you. You dry them up. Right, and then you can use these to make this mechanical belts, which are basically the conveyor belts that you've got in Create. And this will make one that's a very long length indeed. Uh, so I'm just going to collect all these up and I'll meet you back at the base. Ooh, who's that? I'm back and my elderwood tree has has sprouted, which you can see it's pretty empty at the moment. It doesn't have any of those pretty blossoms that we saw in the other one. But that'll come in time. Uh, it's pretty nice as is, though. And I have returned, so therefore I could potentially make the things that I need, which involves ink sack. Let's put two of those. Makes a couple black dye. And then one of those plus a white dye is going to make me some gray. Perfect. And I think... What did I do with the, uh, the rest of the dye? Oh, there's the bone meal. All right. <laughs> I guess I'll need another one. Put that in here. There we go. And I think that's enough to do this. Yeah, it should be. Let's try it. Here, craft it, get it. Spear hook launcher. Perfect. All right, so this thing's pretty crazy. Um, now, your key bindings might be different from mine. Keep that in mind. And by the way, you see these trees? You see how some are like brown and some are green and stuff. Um, this is part of Autumnity. It's, it's a pretty nice mod. It's very aesthetic, very very pretty. Adds a lot of variety to the trees and stuff. You can see that some of the trees are like dropping leaves. Oh, it's really good. Really good. But let's try shooting this thing. You can shoot it and it goes over there. It shoots up to like, I don't know, was it 64 blocks? Uh, yeah, 64 blocks. Pretty good. Then you press right click and you will pull yourself in to let go. You just press X. At least in this case, your key bindings may differ. <laughs> So here's the idea with this. I might need to, uh, let's say, uh, do some work under here. Well, I could shoot up here, reel myself in a bit, which I can, you know, kind of zip myself up a little bit. And then I can do some work here. I can lower myself down with left click. I can raise myself up with right click and so on. So it, it's pretty darn cool. 
Uh, and of course, let's lower myself down, hit X and retract. So if I shoot somewhere and I don't want to go that way, pew, I can just hit X and it'll bring it back. It'll also, so that's the same thing. Works really nice. Ah, I like it and I'm sticking with it. So this is going to be my, my tool here for doing that. You can see it's got a durability meter in a way. Pew, we're going to bring that back. <laughs> Which reminds me of yo-yos. Um, we're probably going to want that too. I'm going to want to smelt this kelp up. I probably should grow some, but honestly, I'm uh, I'm going to be mean about it and not do that. <laughs> I also need to cook some of this squid. And I think just eat some berries. Eat a sweet berry. And then the rest I can put in here that we can make later on. Uh, the tentacle. Oh, the tentacle was something. Wait, I've got raw squid and tentacles? Forbidden and Arcanus and Mystical World. <laughs> a little bit of an overlap there, but eh. Those are mob drops, actually. Give me that back. These are mob drops, too, but I guess they're food. So I'll put them in there. Uh, that, that squid beak. Yeah, this is this is not food. Oh, six ink sacks. Or I can make a Kraken shell fragment, which is pretty cool for making some really neat stuff. I will save this for now. I will have to make a squid farm or something. That that just seems like the thing to do. I if I if I do say so myself. Let's put where to put dyes. You know, I've got them in the drops folder. That's where I'm going to start putting dyes because I've got the uh, the bone meal in there. It'll just make things a little bit easier. Quick stack that. And in the chest here, I'm going to put this pebble from seafaring. Apparently you can use it to make cobblestone. <laughs> you could probably throw it too, I would guess. Nope. Nope. You just use it to make cobblestone. <laughs> I wonder if you can place it. Can I, can I, is it because the shield's in the way? Nope. Definitely not. Uh, I guess it's just decorative stuff for the ground. I'm going to put it down there just, just so that if I have something in my inventory like that, I can get rid of it. In fact, I still have some birch wood. There we go. Done. And I've got the dried kelp cooking up. Oh, right. I forgot I could eat some of that. Dang. All right. Uh, let, let's start off with kelp. Hey, I just got another heart. <laughs> One of these elderberries. Uh, didn't I have sweet berries? Oh, I thought I had it on my hot bar. Sweet berry. There we go. There we go. Look at that. I've got 15 hearts already. That's nice. At this rate, I, I might not even need armor. <laughs> not. All right. Well, as I don't need the spearhook launcher at the moment, I'm going to put it there. Uh, and we can continue on with other preparation. Now, while I'm up in the air, I don't have, there is an enchantment in here that, uh, aerial affinity that will allow you, which I don't even have a, an enchantment table, uh, that will allow you to, uh, mine things while in the air at normal speed, which is pretty darn cool. It's just as common as like, uh, the, the one that allows you to mine underwater, but, um, I'm not going to be going for that enchantment just yet. I might, I might get it. That would be nice, but... Instead, what I'm going to do is make myself an angel block. And this is this is the plan. Some gold, black wool feathers. Uh, so I should have enough string. Is this three or eight? That's three. All right. I can fix that because I think this will make wool. Yes, white wool. And then I combine that with a bit of black dye and it should turn into black wool. There we go. And then I just need feathers. I heard a chicken not far, not long ago, and I'll need a gold ingot. That's not a problem either. So I'll just take one of those and I'll be back once I've got myself some chickens or at least their feathers. Found you. Thank you. That only gave me one crud. All right, well, mistakes were made. I see my quarry. It is across there. But for us to get there, we must make sacrifices. Ooh! <laughs> okay, that was fun. <laughs> Come here, chicken. There we go. You didn't drop any feathers. Oh, you're so rude. And if you don't already know, wall jump is in here. It is one of my favorite mods. Jump, and you can jump up again. It also allows you to jump back and forth or just slide down vertical surfaces. 
Um, in this case, I think though I'm going to use this. Come do be no. Ha! There we go. Now you're not going anywhere. You're staying right here. Oh, and here is one of those moths from Druidcraft as well, I believe. And if you can catch one of those things, if uh, if I had a bottle, I think you can catch them in a jar. Um, you can keep it and then put it in a, in like a little enclosure. And it'll slowly over time drop you glowstone. It's really cool. I hope to find one again later on because I don't have the materials to capture it with me right now. So I probably should take the time for it. Looks like the paths all go out here. I have yet to actually find another chicken to yield me more feathers. It's sad. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, we have found a beetle from Druidcraft. Oh, they're they're a little bit vicious <laughs> until you've tamed them. 